to suffer from depression. <laughs> Promise me you won't cry again, okay? So see some pretty horrible things going on. You promised me this isn't a, a, a scam, right? It's everywhere. I mean, and it's growing. Why would you scam Talk people like, like me, John? Oh, you got quiet now, John. What's up with that? As far as the upcoming bun videos, it's... And then we just need to... Uh, yeah, yeah. It's the same area code that's, that I'm getting calls from, but the, the numbers change, so when I block them, it, it does nothing. So that, that's... Wonderful. That was just two days ago on a live stream on my YouTube channel when these goddamn criminals wouldn't stop calling me. Hi there, I'm Aria, and like many of you, I fucking hate scammers. Now, I mean that with all sincerity because while I know these are scams, so I just ignore them and they're just mainly a nuisance, I do have an elderly relative who was scammed out of thousands of euros earlier this year. So that, coupled with the most recent incident on my YouTube live stream, it got me thinking, what if instead of ignoring these calls, I did something about it? Not like kill them or anything, just, you know, have a chat. To assist me, I turned to legendary YouTuber Jim Browning, who has produced countless videos in which he engages with and confronts scammers during the act of what is referred to as scam baiting. I don't want to answer these questions, so you've wasted much of my time. I just want to know why you're scamming people. People keep saying, oh, is it not some sort of Batman type story where your parents robbed? It's nothing like that at all. Uh, I'm just generally interested in scams. I can usually see what happens on scammers' computers. I've actually been able to switch on the scammers' own webcam. Even at the moment, I can actually see a number of scamming groups running as we speak. Oh, you have, a, you have a monitor open? I do. I have three monitors, actually, and at times I can intervene. I hate to break this to you, but this whole thing is a scam. Well, what do I do now? I mean, it's funny you say you're not like a Batman type, but there you are in your Batcave <laughs> with <laughs> your monitors up. So, sometimes it is like that. Because Jim gains such covert access to these scammers, while he not only obtains insight into their operations, he also gets a first-hand look into the horrific depths to which these scammers are willing to go to steal money. Sir, there would be a charge of twelve ninety-five. Okay. <laughs> hey, why are you crying, man? <laughs> no, 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 sir. Everything will be okay. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> now promise me you won't cry again. Okay. There's one woman. She had NS multiple cirrhosis. I have MS and I'm just, I'm a nervous wreck and I, I can't understand a lot. I, I'm a diabetic and I'm legally blind. Despite her telling this to the scammer, he was still quite prepared to continue with the scam and still rob every penny that she had. Whoever's on the end of the phone is just the source of money from them and it doesn't matter whether a child or an older disabled person as most scam baiters can't go to the lengths Jim does, he does explain to me the other ways in which I can contribute to the fight against scammers. There's scam baiters like Boga or Scammer Payback, the legit voice changers. I can tell you're handsome. Yeah, I am a little handsome. You know, just wind them up very slowly. It's purely for a bit of fun, of course. If you sound convincing or if you sound vulnerable, you can keep them engaged as long as possible. If people can just keep these scammers on the phone for as long as humanly possible, it does have an impact. So I feel like the plan here is fairly straightforward, right? Instead of just calling them up on my phone, trying to yell at them, trying to tell them to stop and most likely getting hung up on, we can dive in like our good friend Jim Browning and other scam baiters by trying to waste their time and learn a little bit more about these sneaky shenanigans they're trying to pull. Because even if we do get hung up on, at least we'll have a little bit more insight into how they operate. But how do we pull this off? If I'm a scammer and I uh, and I say, you know, hey, welcome to Amazon, this is support and you hear, Oh yeah, honey, um, I got a call from this number and there's some kind of fraudulent activity. If I'm a scammer and I hear that, I'm really excited. To coach me in the art of scam baiting, I enlist the help of another popular scam baiter, Pierogi of Scammer Payback. Number one is try to stay as anonymous as possible. 
and that includes never letting them on a real computer. Since some scammers will often remotely connect to your computer to run their scam, the primary tool I have to set up is what's known as a virtual machine. Virtual machines are great. It's a way essentially of creating kind of a virtual sandbox for scammers to play in where they think it's real so that if they did something to your computer, you just kind of restart it and it's good. Going online, I also find further help through the wider scam baiting community who assist me in getting my virtual machine set up and also point me towards different scam baiting resources such as fake phone numbers, voice changers, and even a bank called Northwatch, which I can safely allow scammers to snoop around in once they've connected to my virtual machine and where I can even shoot a rickroll to their computer screens if I wanted. All right, it took me a few days to get everything set up, but the day is here. It is time for us to meet some of these criminals. Okay, so I built out my virtual machine and I've made it look, I believe, like a real person's computer. I built out a character named Jess and based on Jim and Pierogi's advice, I wanted this character to seem as vulnerable and as least tech savvy as I could. Jess is an aspiring actress, model, influencer, YouTuber who's moved to Hollywood to chase her dreams and is unfortunately now going to be scammed out of her rent money by some criminals. This is her computer. I went on our stock image website and I pulled some royalty-free inspiring background wallpaper because of course Jess is a star and she needs to remind herself of that. I've bookmarked Jess some important websites like how to be famous on YouTube, tips, tricks, and a full step-by-step -step guide. You know she'll be using that. Jess also did her first LA photo shoot with a creepy photographer she met off of Instagram, but she loved the photos, so she's got it right on her desktop there, my photo shoot. Look at these photos, she's so proud of them. Again, these are just royalty-free photos I found on our stock image website of some random blonde woman. There's Jess, she's happy there, she's posing. Here's Jess with a dinghy. Oh, and here's Jess hiding behind two palm fronds, as you do. I've also built out Jess's browser history. Of course, our homepage site is BuzzFeed. Jess has also bookmarked her favorite non-problematic YouTubers like James Charles, Shane Dawson, Aria from BuzzFeed. But amongst all these fake sites, we do have banking here. When I click banking though, it reroutes us to Northwatch Bank, that fake bank to let scammers tap into. This site is great because it gives like fake transactions and everything, you know, Jess, you know, she's loving her Netflix. She's living that unemployed actress life. Jess also apparently loves spending money on, you know, Mr. Beast merch. So this is it. I think, I think we're pretty set here. So I think the realistic goal for me on my first scam bait is to waste the scammers time by keeping them on the line for maybe 30 minutes before doing the reveal. All right, let's dive on in. Quickly, as a heads up, unfortunately, we can't air the actual voices of any scamming criminals here on the Unsolved Network. However, if you do want to hear the actual raw, unedited audio of our conversation, I'll upload a copy of it on my personal YouTube channel, which we'll link in the description below, because it's like the Wild West over there. I mean, I'll upload all kinds of nonsense on that channel. Plus, to celebrate our first ever bun scam bait, I'll plan on doing a live stream scam baiting session for all of you on that channel next week, so subscribe over there and uh, join the bun community and I in uh, confronting some scammers live. Either way, here's what happened when I finally got to confront an online scammer. Oh, and I should probably mention that in order to voice over these scamming criminals, I may have hired a celebrity impersonator off the internet. Please hold for the next available agent. Thank you for calling support. You're speaking with Tom. How can I help you? Hi, I, 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 the, there's an alert that's on my computer. It said to call. What's exactly on your computer, miss? Did you download I, I, anything, I wasn't, Melissa? I wasn't doing anything. I was I was just on YouTube. I saw one of my favorite YouTubers, Aria Intavong, and he had like a link on his on his description. So I clicked it, and uh, and somehow I got this pop up. It says here access to PC has been blocked. Contact Windows support, and and, and so I I called because I I I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose. <laughs> I don't want to lose my photos. Okay, ma'am. First of all, unfortunately, seems like you've been the victim of identity theft. Looks like you might have given me credentials. Theft. Relax yourself. Calm a bit so I can <laughs> properly check how much of your information has been compromised. For that, first of all, I need to get your device connected to a service that I can run a scan. Will this cost anything? I don't really have much money. <laughs> Please stop crying. <laughs> Try to listen. <laughs> ma'am, first of all, I gotta check and see what kind of theft has been going around. It might have been trying to get into your banking and all, due to which your computer locked you. While holding the Windows key down, hit R. Oh, oh okay, something came up. Please type in over there, www. W -W. I can't, I can't talk right now. I can't talk right now. I'm on the phone with the tech people. 
I, I, oh, something came up. Okay, okay, okay. It came up. It came up. Download free C pricing. Can we do the free one, please? Click My on. stimulus hasn't come in yet. Biden promised us two thousand dollars. We only got fourteen hundred. Kindly click on download for free. And it said here, this type of file can harm your computer. It will not harm your computer. Don't you worry about it. Apart from the Windows network security, you might be using a McAfee or a Norton. My Click boyfriend, on. well, he's not my boyfriend anymore, but this guy I was sleeping with, he uh, installed a, a vast a free antivirus. So that's one of the conflicting software which should not be there on the computer. Oh my god, did he do this to me? Oh, fucking Mark. <laughs> I never should have fucking went on to. Now it just says team viewer underscore setup. Please click on that file and- NOT RIGHT FUCKING NOW! So you clicked on the file. Oh, I have to install it, okay. Can you get my photos back? That's what's important to me. I'll try my best to get them back, miss. Now, your app is already installed. Double click on that icon and open Team Viewer. On that screen, you're gonna have a nine digit number, which says your ID. Please give me those nine digit numbers. Nine? Okay, and you'll also be getting a password underneath. Please help me with the password. Is it safe to give it uh, over the phone? It makes sure you're getting connected to a right person. Who am I getting connected to? You're connected to the Windows support right now. You're speaking with Thomas. Okay, so the password is... Now I hear some of your co-workers in the background at, this, um, at Microsoft. Is Microsoft right. a good place to work? Uh-huh. Uh, yes, sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. Okay. Oh, 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 something changed. I got connected to your device, so don't you worry about it. Okay, that's you moving the mouse. Oh, so you can see everything? Oh my god. <laughs> Good thing I didn't put anything embarrassing <laughs> on the, the desktop. Tell me who put this super anti-spyware on the computer. That guy I told you about, Mark, the guy I was... Well, I wasn't dating him. I was just... We were hooking up every now and then. Like, we were secretly doing it because, you know, you're not supposed to be seeing anyone during the pandemic. But I'd still go over to his house every now and then. And, you know, mm -hmm. we, we, you know, do, do things together, you know. So he set up most of this. This is one of the spywares which is always running in the background of your computers. Whatever you've been doing, this super anti-spyware has been keeping an eye on all your activities on your computer. Wait, what? It's anti-spy. I thought this, he said this would protect the computer. It's not to protect the computer, it's to keep and spy on the computer. Mark is spying on me? Has he been able to see everything? Your computer is already, you know, hacked up, and your identity is already compromised. Okay, let's just wait. <laughs> be, be patient. Don't cry, okay? I'm transferring your device to a level 5 technician who will first remove the hacker. So, the photos you have on the computer can be secured. Thank you, thank you so much, Thomas, and thank you. And please do not cry over the call, otherwise, you know, technician might be facing a problem in order to explain you the solution. All right, okay, you're welcome. Your thank you so much for being on hold. This is me, John Wilson. I'm the senior technician on the floor. How may I help you today, ma'am? I was just talking with Thomas, and he said that you'd be able to help me, like, save my photos and stuff like that. Can you please show me your photos? What photos do you want to be freshly secured? I took this photo shoot with this really cool photographer on Instagram, um, and these are just, these are some of the ones I took. This is your personal pic, correct? Yeah. Okay, this is your photos, but it's not your computer, right? Okay, so this guy, Mark, who I was sleeping with... You're sleeping with a guy named Mark, correct? Yes. Well, I'm an actress, and so I should... I want to put some acting stuff. Yeah, these are my photos, yeah. I, I'm really happy with how they turn out. Do you, that, that's one of my favorite. I like the one with... Uh, I like the next one. Yeah, that's a fun one. <laughs> That's why I want to save these photos. I will make your photos safe and secure. Don't worry. Which of these photos do you think are the best if I had to pick three to post? I could suggest to you... Like, you can put this photo, okay? This one, then I could say this one. Have you shoot any videos? I, I, I haven't shot any videos yet. I was going to. Oh, that's one of my favorite videos. It's a good video.
fighting an MMA fight in three months is completely is crazy. This... Arya is just so sweet. Like I couldn't. This is just a BuzzFeed video. I'm a big fan of BuzzFeed. Right now, what I can see over here, like they're using your computer, your identity for any kind of illegal purpose and for promoting child pornography as well. Pornography? Oh my god. Yes, ma'am. Uh, should I call the police? No, you should not. Uh, you should not call the police. We'll surely go ahead and help you in each and every case. Firstly, we have to go ahead and put all these securities in your computer. I want you to go ahead and check your banking first. Do you think Mark was able to see my bank before you came? I believe he can, okay? Oh but you do not need to worry. You're not supposed to cry over the call. You're not supposed to cry over the call, all right, Jessica? If you will cry, so we will delay this process, okay? Do you have a Target store near to yeah, you? Do yeah, you have a target, a target store? There's a Target here. Whatever amount you're going to invest in the security, that amount will be refunded back to you in your bank account. So I'm going to pay now, but then you're going to refund it. I, yes. For sure it'll happen because I really, I, I moved to LA like uh, like last year and I've been, I mean, I've lost all my money because it's so crazy here in LA. Do not need to worry, okay? You will take my words. Do not need to worry. All the amounts are refundable amounts. You have to use this debit card, okay? Once you reach to the target in the parking lot, let me know and I will let you know what security card you need to get. You have to be on call with me while you are going to that target store. You have to be quick, Jessica, okay? Rachel, I'm gonna be right back. <sighs> Hi. Yeah. You are in the parking lot of that Target yeah, store, yeah, correct? Yeah, yeah, I am. Oh my okay, God. Sorry, 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 sorry. I see one of my my one of my classmates over there is waving. Hi, I'm on the I'm on the phone right now. I'm on the phone. You look great. You look great. I'll talk to you. I'll text you later. Sorry, sorry. One of my acting class, uh, you know, people there. She's she's not very talented, but yeah. You gotta be nice. Once you will go inside the Target store, you need to look for a Target card and tell okay. them I need to put $3,000 on it, okay? 3000 You promise I'll get it refunded, right? My mom's sick right now, and so I try to send money whenever I can, so I can't lose too much. Yes, yes, Jessica, you'll get the refund, $3,000 back within three minutes. If these store people will ask you, like, for what purpose you're getting these cards, just tell them I'm taking it for my personal purpose. Okay. Don't tell them you're not for the securities. If you tell them, they'll add sales tax rate on it, okay? Put your phone in the pocket. Don't talk to me in the Target store. John? Yes, Jessica? Hi, John. I got it. I got it. Okay. I just need the billing receipt number. Let me run back to mine first, because uh, I don't like being outside right now because of COVID. I'll be right with you. Don't go to the apartment. Don't go to the apartment. Just stay in the parking lot in the Target store, okay? But, but what about COVID? You have to tell me the everything over here so that we can work immediately. Oh my god, okay, 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 okay. But I, 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 we haven't paid for anything yet, have we? Okay, like, in order to process each and everything, we just require that, okay? I trust you, John, but I, I'm just, you know, it's just the money. It's, it's a lot of money. I said do not need to worry for anything, Jessica, all right? Well, that's what, <laughs> that's what Mark said to me. He said I could trust him. Look what Mark did to me, John! Yes, that is something critical, okay, what exactly he did. Well, it's horrible. He should be in jail. Yeah, we'll definitely put him in jail, okay? You're, I know you're with Microsoft, John, so I trust you. You're not some fuckboy from L.A. Absolutely but, it is, Jessica, all right? You're not a fuckboy, right? Are you a fuckboy, John? You're not. Absolutely not. Okay, just let me know the billing numbers and let me know the card number, which is at the back of that Target card. All of the problems will go away. Mark will be out of your computer. He won't be able to see your banking. He won't be able to use your photos for any critical oh purpose. God. All right? Oh, well, yeah, he has other photos anyways so he can use. But, so I can just, right here, no. if I give you the number right here, then, then, then it'll all go away? Yes, yes. Okay, yeah. you promised me this isn't a, a scam, right? 
Absolutely, it is not, Jessica. Absolutely, it is not, okay? Okay, I just I just think it's weird. Why would you do something like this to me? Why would you scam so people like, like me, John? How do you get off on this? You jackass. Oh, you got quiet now, John. What's up with that? Hello, Jessica. We just, we just take all of your money from your account, Jessica. You, you can't do that. You can't do that. We'll do that, Jessica. You're, you're threatening to do that to me? Yes, Jessica. You don't have the power to do that. You don't run the banks. We run the bank, Jessica. And I can fuck you very hard. You're gonna fuck me hard? You don't know who you're messing with. I'm Jess O'Neill, okay? I'm gonna win an Oscar someday and you're gonna fuck me? You can't do anything. Give him one more call back. John? No longer in service. Wow, we did it. We pulled it off. He hung up. He blocked. I think the number says it's out of service now. The number that, that went better than expected. The aim we had was like 30 minutes, right? And I think we went close to an hour there, if not longer. We learned about how their scam works. I mean, the confrontation in the end was very short because once he realized that I wasn't Jessica, he hung up. But he still got quite annoyed with us and he was threatening to, well, not just fuck us, but he was threatening to take all the money out of our account because I think that's probably their method, right? They probably use that method with more vulnerable people by saying, oh, well, if you don't do this, we're going to take all the money out of your account. Obviously, we know that they're scamming, but it is scary to think that a more vulnerable person, an older person perhaps, may actually fall for that sort of intimidation. That was a lot of fun and I'm very excited to do some live scam baiting with all of you next week. What a wild, wild time that was. We all have our own purpose, all the scam baiters. That's why I created the hashtag, hashtag we are all scam baiters, because there's so many different degrees at which we can all impact the scammers and save victims. I think if people are able to see exactly what goes on with scammed calls and just become aware of what the phone calls are all about, then that as kind of an education piece may help to reduce the number of victims.